Hi, Steve here from Steve's Internet Guide, and in this video we're going to look at using Node-RED to create MQTT dashboards. In an earlier video I covered some Node-RED basics and I created a basic flow and we use that flow to subscribe to an MQTT topic. Now the link to that video is in the description below if you'd like if you haven't seen it and you'd like to see that before you continue. But in this video we're going to continue on and we're going to create an MQTT dashboard uh, for displaying and controlling two MQTT devices. We're going to control a smart light and a smart door. Now I'm not using actual devices, I'm using a simulated device and I've got a Python script that can simulate both devices and you can download the script if you're interested in, in using it yourself from the from the downloads page. Okay so here we are at the uh, Node Red dashboard. Now I've created a, a flow here similar to the one you saw in the earlier video. Uh, the only difference is I've added in a text box here which comes from the dashboard uh, nodes here and remember to add a, a node into here we just drag it from here and place it over here so to drag a button in I just drag it here and then to link it up I use one of these nodes here to link it to whatever node I want to link it to to delete it I highlight it and just hit the delete key and it's gone okay now you may notice here I've got two flows um, this is a, just a, a dummy flow that I want to just um, talk about briefly before we move on to the main uh, flow uh, that I've created. On the right hand side here in this column here is a very um, useful tab here called the dashboard tab. The dashboard tab lets me control the user interface um, by just dragging and dropping between them. So I can drag things like this one here, I can drag it around and I can move it around there and I can drag between uh, tabs. Now this lights and this home represent two tabs and you, to see that you have to go to the user interface which is here and here's the user interface you can see the home and the lights tab so if I, cl I click on the home then this gives me my main flow and if I click on the lights it gives me the flow that you can see that I just showed you in flow 2. This is the, the dummy flow I've created. Okay, now if I wanted to move the this sensor to into here, I just drag it up and move it over into here. And now it's not under the lights tab, it appears in the home tab. Now notice it's not appearing in the home tab and remember with node we always have to hit the deploy button. And now let's go back to it now and you can see it appearing over here. Um, while I'm at it you can see the order of them here. Now I can change that order just by dragging them over here so sensor 2 is now appearing at the top and again deploy and sensor 2 is, is there. Okay let's drag it back to where it should be. Uh, it doesn't like to do that so if we just edit it and instead of putting it in the home we put it in the lights tab and then update it then it's back where I want it. Okay so let's go on to the the main flow. So here's the main flow and before I um, talk about this I just want to show you how it's supposed to work and to do that we go to the user interface. Now these nodes in blue or light blue and a bit darker blue are the ones that will appear on the user dashboard so if I go to the dashboard you can see I've got a main door close button and a main door open button and clicking these should open the door and close the door and I should see the status of the main door appearing over here under the main door sensors on the left hand side and the same with the switch when I change the status of the switch it should reflect it over here on the left hand side we should see on or off appearing on, on the on the light. So that should work uh, when I get the uh, main door and the 
the light um, device is operational. Okay, let's go back to the, the flow and I'll just take you through the flow. So as, here's the light switch and there's the main door button and there's the main door close button. And what these simply do is they publish a message or control message uh, using MQTT. So let me take you through the light switch and you can see here I set the payload on payload to on and the off payload to off and if you go down here you can see I'm publishing a string so it's just a simple text message which it's going to publish and it's going to publish on this topic here now the general scheme I'm using is I'm using a control channel and the the format I'm using is sensors main light or sensors main door and then if I want to control it I publish on the slash control channel the sensor itself or the device itself will publish on sensors main light so it will publish its status on sensors main light and the door will publish its status on sensors main door so that's done and if I go to the main door open you can see the payload is open and that's it there. Now interesting thing about the buttons is that we can add a background to it which is the color and you can see the color here this is the main door open if I just go quickly to the dashboard main door open is black and also there's an icon here which is touch app if I click on the info it tells me about this and it says the the icons come from material design or font awesome now the icons are, inc are included with um, node now what isn't is the the names of the icons you have to know the name of the icon or the icon number to to use it now I found uh, through a bit of searching there's actually a page on um, uh, w3schools.com and I'll put a link in the video description below so you can get to this page and it lists all the icons and you can see down here it's divided them up into functions and it shows you the icon it shows you the uh, the name of the icon so all I need to do is to change the name so let me just pick on a icon we'll have um, a call icon so we just call it call and so if I go back to my flow and if I just change this now to I'll copy it first so I don't lose it to call and done I'm not going to deploy it yet I just want to show you the the way it looks like here it's got a touch button here and now let's deploy it and you can see now it's changed to a telephone so that's how to change the icon in there and while I'm there to change the color I just change it down here okay there it's changed it there okay so that's how to change the icon and the color of the of the button okay so let's just have a quick look at the the publish so this is the broker we're publishing to and on port 1883 and this is the client name we're using node 2 and the topic we haven't used and that's the reason because of the sorry the reason uh, for that is that we're using the topic coming from the control button so if we look at the control button then the topic is here and not in the publish function so we leave this blank and we're publishing with retain flag set to true okay so that's the the publish on the subscribe side we're subscribing to sensors wildcard so anything on published on sensors we should receive now the problem with all this is that we've got two things going on here we're publishing control information on sensors sensor name slash control 
and we're publishing census status information on census sensor name. So everything that we publish on census we will process here. So everything comes into here. Now that's then sent off, the messages are sent off into the select topic. Now this is a function. Now I could send them straight into the display nodes here but that wouldn't work very well because I'd be sending both control information and status information into these nodes which I don't want to. So the purpose of this function here is to filter out the control information from the status information. So let me just take a look at the uh, this function here. It's a JavaScript function and basically what it does is it takes the status information, you can hear sensors main door and sensors main light and it passes that information out onto one of the outputs. Now if it's not information related to sensors main door, sensors main light, i.e. if it's control information then it simply returns. Now I've got a few of these log commands here, node log T3. This is when I was debugging it, so all these are left in from when I was debugging it, so they they wouldn't be in the in the real script. I just delete them. And again, this message here is just debugging messages. So if the message is equal to main sensors main door, then it returns the message. And now notice I'm returning message and null. And when I go down to the other one, I'm returning null and message. Now these refer to input, sorry, output one and output two. And this again refers to output one and output two. Let me look, go back and see it here. I'm not sure which one's which. I think that one's output one goes to there. And that one's output two goes to there. Let's just go back to it. I said main door was output one. So there's main door and there's output one. Now if I add three outputs I just put a comma here and I'd add another message or null character here and likewise down here. Uh, you can find more information if you go and read on the node documentation about functions. But it's not so important at the moment to just say this that's the purpose of this function here to filter out the the messages. Okay, so they, that should pass the message on to the main door and to the to the light. So I should see the the status. Let's now go and start up the devices and let's see this working. Okay, now we're ready to um, start the sensors going, and I'm going to start the main lights. Now the simple sensor, as I said, is available in the downloads if you want to download it. I'm just passing it on the the name and it return and you can see it's going to subscribe it's going to subscribe to this topic here the control topic and then it's going to start publishing data and it's publishing data on sensors main light and then I'm going to start the main door this time it's got an extra switch because I don't want it to publish on and off I wanted to publish open and closed and that will do it. So again it's subscribed to main door control that's where it gets, gets its control information from and it's publishing its status on sensors main door. Now let me go back to my node red user interface and then I've got the the light now it's on and the main door is open and if I change the switch you can see it goes to off and if I go back to the, you can see there it's off. It's publishing the status off. And then go back again. And this time I'm going to close the door. And it's closed there. And if I go back to my sensor, you can see it's publishing the status of close. So just do it again. And turn it on turn it off. So that's it, a very simple node red dashboard uh, for controlling uh, MQTT devices and that brings us to the to the end of the video. There is a, a node red tutorial on the site at this URL here and 
if you go there, you can also find some links to other uh, related uh, tutorials on MQT dashboards. Uh, there's one I did on ThingsBoard, and there's one on creating a simple controllable uh, MQT sens MQTT sensor using Python. If you've got any comments on the video, then use the comment form below. If you like the video, then use the like button below. You can also subscribe to the channel if you want to get notified of other videos. And if you do go over to the website, there's, there's a newsletter subscribe form if you want to subscribe to the newsletter. So that's it for now. Until next time, bye.